Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to discuss how to solve one-step equations. And as you can see, there are six problems on your screen that we're going to go through in order to get this down. Now up top, I have a hint we need to remember as we go through these problems. So we're going to do the opposite or inverse operation of whatever is being done to the variable in order to get the variable by itself. Now, that may not make any sense at first, but as we go through these problems, you'll start to see what I mean by that. Again, main goal is getting the variable by itself. And just to reiterate, inverse means opposite. It means to do the opposite. So addition, the inverse would be subtraction. Multiplication, the inverse would be division. So let's jump right into number one here and see how we solve one-step equations. So for number one, we have x minus six. So we need to take a look at what we're doing to the variable x, our missing piece, and we're subtracting six. So we need to do the opposite. So that would be adding six. So we need to add six to that side. And the reason we do that, because we have x minus six plus six, the minus six plus the six gives us zero, essentially canceling those sixes out. So we're just left with the x that gives us the x by itself. Now, in order to keep that equation balanced, we have to do the same thing to both sides. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So we added six to the left, so we need to add six to the right. So 13 plus six gives us 19. So x equals 19. And we always double check to see if this makes sense and our answer for the variable is correct. So let's plug in 19 for our x here. 19 minus six equals 13. And that is true, it is correct. I'm even going to come to the side here, plug it in. 19 minus six equals 13. That is true, so we're good to go. We have the correct answer for what x equals. Let's take a look at number two. We have k divided by eight equals two. So what are we doing to the variable k? Well, we're dividing by eight. So we need to do the opposite to that side to get rid of the dividing eight. So we need to multiply by eight. k divided by eight times eight, well, those eights would equal zero or cancel out. So k is by itself. But whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other to keep everything balanced. So we get to the point where k is by itself. k equals, well, 2 times 8 is 16. k equals 16. Let's see if that's true. Let's plug in 16 for k. 16 divided by 8 equals 2. So k indeed does equal 16. Let's take a look at number 3. Now here we have the answer on the left-hand side and our variable on the right. That's okay, that, ha that happens in algebra sometimes. So we're adding three to g. So we need to do the opposite to that side to get g by itself. So we need to subtract three and we need to do it to both sides. So we get g equals 13. And I always like to rewrite with the variable first, g equals 13. And let's double check. Does 3 plus 13 equal 16? Yes. So we have the correct answer for the variable. Number four, we have 15 equals 5m. Now a number right next to a variable or letter means multiplication. So we're multiplying by 5 here. So the opposite of multiplying by five would be dividing by five. That would give us our m by itself. And that I put it in fractional form, and fractions are division here. That means divide by five. So do it to both sides. 
So we have the m by itself, and then 15 divided by 5 gives us 3. So m equals 3. Let's double check. 5 times 3 does equal 15, so we have the correct answer there. Number 5, we have 2r equals 22. So we're multiplying by 2. Again, number next to a letter means multiplication. So we need to divide both sides by 2. That gives us r by itself, and 22 divided by 2 equals 11. So r equals 11. Let's double check. 2 times 11 does equal 22, so we're good to go there. Number 6, 11 equals w divided by 4. So we're dividing by 4. The opposite would be multiplying by 4. So let's multiply by 4 to get, to get w by itself. And then whatever we do to one side, we need to do to the other in order to keep everything balanced. So we end up with an answer of 44 for the value of w. So w equals 44. And let's double check. 44 divided by 4 does equal 11. So we're good to go with number 6. So there you have it. There's how you solve one-step equations. Hopefully you found that helpful. Until next time, peace.